Okay, so next we've got Dior Oud Ispaham. And of course, I have the little sample there. Now, this one, from a personal standpoint, is probably not my favorite. That's got nothing to do with the quality of it or anything like that. I just I just don't find it that appealing to me. And a lot of you are probably going to be shocked, thinking, oh, it's an new scent. He's going to love that one. No, not this one. I'm not that keen on it. But I want to be try and be as impartial as I can. Take out my, you know, that I don't like it. And I'll try and be as impartial as I can. So... In terms of closeness, I'd say this one is very close. I'm actually very impressed with Perfume Parlor's Dior Privé clones. They are very good. Um, the Bois de Argent, that was very good. Leather Oud, very good. Now Oudis Pan, this one is very good as well. So they're hitting the nail on the head with the Privé clones. They're very good at the minute. Um... Obviously, I haven't tried the rest of the range, so I can't comment on them. I can only say from what I've got in front of me. And they do seem quite good from what I've tried. So, in terms of closeness, this one really nails it on the head. It is very close. As with all oils, in the beginning, it's a little bit richer than what it should be. Not a lot, but it's just kind of condenses the top notes down a little bit. And it can give you an impression that, it, you know, not really going to be that similar. So you have to wait for it to dry down. You have to wait for it to work its magic. When it does, whoa, boy, this is good. In terms of a clone, <laughs> it's good. The scent, it's not my cup of tea, so maybe I shouldn't be judging it on that but in terms of closeness I can't fault it it's really good um, and for the price point as well I believe this is in the lower price point of perfume bottles I believe these are about £2.25 for the 3 mil. it's well worth that I mean if you do like this pan this is get it you know if I liked it I would get it so yeah would I recommend it? I would recommend it if you like Udis Pan. I'm not a big fan of it, so I won't be buying it. Um, so, yeah, it's a recommend from me. Uh, in terms of similarity, I would say it's about 90%, I'd say. It's really very close. So, that's Dior Ud Ispahan.